Welcome to this tutorial on how to generate 100% unique articles using Write Sonic. Guys, if you are a content writer or a blogger, you already know how challenging it can be to produce fresh and unique content consistently. That's where Write Sonic comes in. Write Sonic is an AI based uh, content generation tool, and here we are going to integrate Write Sonic inside the automation workflow so that you can create and generate the articles automatically and get them posted to your website or blog automatically. And guys, we are going to set up it without any coding. So let's begin. To set up this automation, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an automation and integration tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli Connect. And I'm going to paste the same link in the description below so that you can sign up for free and get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. After that, you can sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. From here, you have to click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as generate. All right, so after giving these kind of names, you just have to click on create button and your workflow page will load up like this. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So our automations are based on these two things only. So trigger is that event which starts our workflow and the action is the automated response or the consequence of the trigger. In our use case, guys, what we are doing here, we are entering the details of our blogs here in a spreadsheet in Google Sheets application. So here I'm entering the blog titles and here I'm entering the date on which I want to publish those blogs. OK, so as I'm going to enter this data here in a row in this spreadsheet, that is going to trigger our workflow and the articles will be generated according to the titles. OK. So here guys in the trigger uh, window, it will ask to choose the trigger application. So here the Google Sheets application will act as the trigger application. So search for Google Sheets here. Okay. Then select the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row. All right. And it will give you this webhook URL to make a connection with Google Sheets application. And then we are going to capture the response of that connection so that we can set up this automation further. Okay. So to create this connection, you need to follow these steps written here. So you can read the steps and follow them. I'm just going to show you directly how you can uh, create this connection. So first of all, you have to open your spreadsheet in an incognito window. If you are using multiple Google accounts in the same browser, I am using multiple accounts. So I have opened this here to make the connection properly. And guys, here you will find this extensions option. Click on it. And from this add-ons menu, click on get add-ons. And from this Google Workspace Marketplace window, search for a add-on which is called Pabli Connect Webhooks. Search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli Connect Webhooks and install this add-on here. I have already installed it, okay? Once you installed it, you have to refresh the spreadsheet after that. That is an important step. After refreshing the spreadsheet, when you click on extensions again, you will find the Pabli Connect Webhooks option available here in the drop down only. And from here, you have to click on initial setup. And under initial setup, you will find these two fields, the Webhook URL field and the trigger column. OK, so the here in the Webhook URL field, you have to paste the URL that you got from your workflow and the trigger column is that column on in which entering the data is going to trigger the workflow. Here you can see as I'm going to enter the data here in this sheet, I'll start from column A, then I'll fill the column B. And as I'm going to fill the column B, that is going to trigger the workflow. So the trigger column is our B column. Okay. Now guys, guys let me uh, go back to my workflow and let me just copy this uh, webhook URL and then let me open the spreadsheet again here and from extensions public connect webhooks initial setup let me paste this webhook URL so we have already a uh, old URL pasted here let me erase this and let me paste the new one and the trigger column is the B column only so keep it as it is 
and here we have this send test button okay and here you can see guys as we have copied the url it started showing waiting for the webhooks response this means now we can perform a test submission test submission means now we have to bring some test data to our, uh, from our spreadsheet to here in this response section okay so to bring the test data here you just, ha you just have to open the spreadsheet and here you will find this send test button in the initial setup so click on send test and the data of the first row that you have in your spreadsheet will be sent to the workflow as the test data, right? Here you can see test data sent successfully started showing up here. Now you can click on submit and the setup will be configured and you can close it. Okay. And from here you have to do one thing more. Click on extensions one more time. And from this public and webhox option, select this send on event option as well. So when you select send on event option, what will happen whenever you are going to add any new row that is going to trigger the workflow. Okay. Because that's will, that will act as a new event in the spreadsheet. Okay. Right. After that, uh, let's check in our workflow. If we got the test data captured and here you can see guys in this response section, we got the test data as this, it is showing the trigger column name as B spreadsheets name, spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID, row index, row index means the row from which the data is coming. So this, this data is coming from the second row. Okay. And you can see the data date of publishing is this and the block title is this. Okay. So here's how you can capture the test data. Now with the help of this data, I want to uh, generate the article using write Sonic. So in this action step, we are going to connect with write Sonic search for it, select it, and then select the action event here as uh, chat sonic okay so chat sonic is just like chat gpt okay and it's a, a real time chatbot so with the help of this we can generate content so click on connect here from here select add new connection and here it will ask for the right sonics api key and you will find it under the routes right sonics account let me show you that so this is my right Sonic application and here you will find this profile icon on the top right corner from here. You have to click on API dashboard under API dashboard. You have to toggle this button to on. Okay. To activate the photo Sonic chat Sonic and write Sonic API. And here you will find this reveal API key button. Click on it to get your key and just copy this key and paste this key here in this field like this and then click on save and you'll be connected with right sonic okay now here it started asking the input text okay so here you you have to provide a prompt just uh, like the prompt you have to provide in chat gpt you have to get something like this only so let me try it here write an article article on And guys, uh, we got the data from our spreadsheet in the first step. And here we got the title of the blog that we want to produce. Okay. So you have captured the title here in the first step like this. Let me show you. Here is the title. And I'm going to map this title here in this uh, prompt. Okay. So you just have to click here and the previous step will appear here in the drop down only. So from here, when you click, you will find the data. So from here, just map this block title like this. Okay. So when you map this label here like this, every time this workflow is going to execute, the label is going to be updated and new articles will be generated for new titles that you are adding inside the spreadsheet. Okay. Now guys, uh, you can enable Google result if you want. I am currently making it no. Okay. And then click on save and send test request and your article will be generated in a few moments right in front of you. Here you can see guys in this response section, we got this message label and here we got an article on losing belly fat. Losing belly fat is a common fitness goal for many people and it's not hard to understand why. And this is a whole article we got and this was the title, how to lose belly fat. Okay. So that's how you can generate articles. Now, if you want to publish this article on your WordPress website, just click here on this plus icon 
and connect WordPress here. Search for WordPress. Then select the action event as create a post. Okay. Then click on connect. From here, select add new connection. And here it will ask for the WordPress account's username or email address, your WordPress account's password and the base URL. So you can, you have these things already. And for the base URL, let me show you. So this is my WordPress application, uh, WordPress dashboard guys. Okay. This is the backend. And here you can see in the top search bar, I have my URL. Let me just copy this URL. Okay. All right. And let paste, let me paste this URL here in this field. All right. So you have to enter the URL of your WordPress account like this as as given in the example you have to include the leading http address but do not include wp admin or wp login.php okay so i have trimmed this url till this point according to the given example and after filling all the details you have to click on save and you will be connected with wordpress and the connection that you make here is going to be saved in your account so if you want to make the connection again with the same application in the same workflow or in a different workflow, you can use your saved connections. As I have already created many connections with WordPress, so I'm going to use my saved connections. For that to happen, just select this existing connection option. And here it will show you the list of your saved connections. From here, you can choose any one and then click on save and you will be connected with WordPress again in just a few moments. No need to fill the data all over again and again. Okay. After that, it will ask for selecting the type of the post. So I'm selecting post here only. Okay. And here it will ask for the post title. So you'll get the post title from your spreadsheet. So just map the block title as the post title. And here it will ask for the post content. So you can enter the content from right Sonic from the second step. Just map this message label. Okay. So when you map the things like this guys in real time, after setting up this automation, Whenever you are going to add these details here, the labels will be updated inside the workflows and new articles will be generated and posted according to the new titles. Okay. That's why it is necessary to map details here. And after that, if you want to enter slug or excerpt, you can do that also. Right now I'm leaving these things blank. These are not compulsory things. I am selecting the status as publish. If you want to save it as draft, you can say you select draft option. Okay. You can provide text, you can select media and you can select many things. The author, I'm selecting author as admin. Okay. Now guys, we have this save and send test request button by clicking on it. You can check this connection with WordPress and a new article will be posted from your WordPress website. Let me show you. I'm clicking on save and send test request guys. And this is the response we have received and here you will find uh, the link of the posted uh, post al also here you can see we got the link of the blog let me show you that all right so it will bring you to my uh, published post page and this is the published post post i have how to lose belly fat okay by admin and this is the same article that has been generated by right sonic got published here like this on my WordPress site. This is how it is going to work guys. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once. After that, you do not even have to open this workflow. It will silently run in the background. And whenever in real time, you are going to add any new row here in the spreadsheet, the workflow is going to be triggered and your article will be generated and will be posted from your WordPress website automatically. And guys, if you want to use this workflow, you can use it because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, 
please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel